I'll check, so I won't come over five minutes and I've got a chance to come back at a second point. Uh, but um, in terms of uh, the settlement of Council Polanski's uh, amendment, I fully agree with the settlement of his first paragraph, because clearly the problem is that as by um, one of the public speakers is that how do you suddenly suffer a housing crisis? And the housing crisis is such that uh, it's causing all manner of uh, ripple effects and uh, quite conservative ripple effects and have been uh, probably um, behind some of the um, uh, reasons for the motion brought forward by uh, ourselves. In effect, in effect, in effect um, we are not building enough houses and we need to build more this year, we need to build even more the following year and even more after that to get anywhere near making any uh, dent in some of the problems that this city faces. And let's be fair, we have huge uh, housing problems in terms of uh, uh, both uh, our aspired planning policy in balanced communities as another aspired existing planning policies that are not uh, being met uh, because of it. Now, I'm going to speak mainly from a planning position, although clearly the council can only work in its own auspices and we do have licensing obligations in terms of private sector housing and we do have planning policy obligations in terms of our local plan. And the key for me is the local plan because at the moment the local plan is for review and issues and options paper is to be produced that we will uh, 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 copies of and we will have the opportunity to, to comment upon. Clearly the first motion which has now been uh, superseded, talks about discussing the context of HMOs in terms of the options that this city uh, would like to take forward and, the, uh, and assess both the existing problems and deal with some of the uh, uh, underlying problems and try and improve uh, matters both for the uh, thousands of tenants who are in HMOs and in other shared houses across the city, which we all know from our uh, wards and our, and our day-to-day uh, -day sort of um, work in those wars. Um, but the underlying problem for me is uh, on the planning side, and at the moment, those of us who sit on the planning committee, we uh, sit and agree planning applications, we agree planning applications for the new developments, uh, many of them uh, two-storey, three-storey, whatever. And the, and the problem for me is that sometimes knowing where these developments are coming from, we know full well that half or more of these new houses are going to be uh, sold to investors, they're going to be sold uh, in block to investors, and they will become the shared houses which you are so familiar with in other parts of the city. Now, if we don't tackle that problem ourselves, we are not going to, uh, I think, uh, create the bunch of communities for which the existing local plan aspires to. Uh, and let's not kill ourselves because there are huge financial um, uh, overtones of what's going on in the city. There are Chelsea footballers, there are Hong Kong business people being advised to spend their money in Cambridge on housing because it's going to get a huge return over and above what they can get in return anywhere else. We, we, we've come across these uh, as, uh, examples in our own wars and are familiar with them. So in terms of the, uh, uh, the planning side, I mean, many people have quite tried to and others have come from the licensing side, but in terms of the planning side, I just want to read something from the local plan. Uh, and uh, the quote is, um, development for housing in multiple population, uh, which is in accordance with other policies, will be considered against the following criteria. The, and A, this is the one I'm alluding to, the proportion of HMOs in the surrounding area. That was a 1996 local plan. Yes, was that? Labour group adopted local plan, but it was a 1996 local plan. And the introductory <coughs> paragraph to that local plan uh, section, amenity problems are likely to be greater in areas of small, particularly terraced housing, and where there are concentrations of HMOs. Let's be honest, not a lot's changed, does it really? We are all aware of some of the uh, relationship difficulties uh, of HMOs in terms of particularly terrace housing and small terrace housing and that. And we are not casting any blame, we are just pointing out the obvious. There are streets where the balance is not right, we accept the balance is not right, but we are struggling to find policy means to try and rectify that imbalance. That's what we're about. Mr. Mayor, is this speech addressed to this amendment? I think, uh, yes, 
be truly <laughs> cast that way. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be tolerant. Thank you. Well, thank you. Thank you. I think there is. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You'll, you'll already have your five minutes. But uh, as long as you want, I'll finish your paragraph. Well, in terms of where we are for the existing local plan, 2006, which is, as I said, coming up for renewal and uh, re-adoption in a new form, we have one, two, seven lines on the HMOs. Seven lines. The only sort of relevant and uh, uh, probably pertinent point is that uh, the development of HMOs um, and then the references to the potential impact on residential immediacy of a local area. This is again familiar with what we know and familiar to the previous older local plan to boot. But I'll finish, uh, Mr Mayor, by saying if we don't tackle uh, these issues, I think this aspiration and uh, aspiration is actually a policy in the, in the existing plan of the planners community is not being met not only in our existing communities, but in our new green communities as well. That's still where the